my name is Alejandro with GSC, and today we're going to take a look at a very useful mate called the with mate. So a lot of times when adding components to an assembly, sometimes that component needs to be centered between two faces. Typically, you would have to either calculate the appropriate distance as well as add some sort of distance mate. Here, we're going to learn how to use a with mate that allows us to center our component between two faces without having to actually calculate uh, that distance. So here I have an assembly. Here I have a, a grooved component that contains this little slot that I'm going to want to center my components uh, to. So my square component, my single, my triangular component, I want them all to be right in the middle of this little groove or slot uh, feature. So I'm going to go ahead and add a mate. And I'm going to add what's called a width mate. And this is under the advanced mates. And when I select the width mate, I can go ahead and select two pairs of faces. Since I want to center my, let's start off with the square block, my square block between uh, these two faces, I'll go ahead and select them. From there, you must also select two additional faces, which is going to be the faces on my square block. And you can see what happens. Now, my square is directly in the middle of my groove. And right now, I still have a degree of freedom, so I can still move it up and down. But you can see that no matter how I move it, it always stays right in the middle of my groove. Now, if I go back into the mate, I actually do have some additional options. I can leave it as free. And what this will do is this will allow me to constrain my square block to only those uh, first two selected faces of my groove. So I can move it left and right freely, but only between my two uh, faces, uh, two groove faces. So essentially it's almost like a, a limit distance mate. I do have one more option. Actually, I should say two more options. One is dimension. And this allows me to pick a specific location from one of my uh, groove faces. So if I select three inches, my groove or my, my square block is gonna be three inches from this with, refer with reference face. If I make it two inches, you'll see it'll be two inches from that with, re with reference face. And you'll see here that I will not be able to move this freely. It stays at that specific location. I can also choose a percentage. So I want this face and this face to be, let's say 30% of the groove's distance away from each other you'll see that it stays in that location. Now, the one unique thing about the with mate is it doesn't only work for flat faces. It actually has some exceptions. Uh, for example, here we have this circular face. In this case, I'll start off my mate as usual. So I'll select my with mate. I'll select my two pairs of faces that are on my groove. And then I'll go ahead and select My circular face. And you can see here that now my circular cylinder is centered. This also works for angled faces. So once again, I'll activate my with me. I'll select this face and this face. And then I'll select my two angled faces, which are on my triangular prism. And once again, my triangular component is now centered between my groove. So let's go ahead and take a look at a more realistic example. Here I have an assembly of a boom. And I'm going to insert a boom knuckle that, that's going to allow me to attach the cylinder rod end 
to my mounting plate. So here I have a boom knuckle. This boom knuckle is going to be concentric to these through holes. But as far as its general location, you can see here I can move it up and down. It has to be right in the middle of these two faces. So this is a perfect application for a width me. I don't want to have to calculate what specific distance uh, I have to move this knuckle in order to get it in the right position. Instead, once again, I'm just going to use a width me. So under advanced mates, I'll activate with me. I'll select my first two pairs of faces, which is going to be this face and this face. And then I'll select the pair of faces from my actual component, which is going to be this face and this face. And here you can see the end result. I didn't have to do any calculations or add multiple mates. I was able to easily center my boom knuckle between those two faces. And I can repeat the process for the other side. So that's how you can leverage with mates to speed up your workflows by reducing calculations and quickly locating your components. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching. Thank you.